Welcome to my channel, Light as a Feather Tarot. This is going to be for the sign Aries. So this is for your sun, moon, and rising signs. This is a timeless reading, so whenever spirit brings you these messages, that's when they're meant. This is a general reading, so please take the messages that resonate. If the messages don't fit, then please check out your other signs. So let's go ahead and take a look at the messages that spirit has for us. So while channeling for your energy, I had this feeling of like peace, an inner knowing. It almost feels like you know that there's some type of change on the horizon. And I feel like because you know that it's coming, um, you're being very patient and you're just kind of waiting for everything to line up in the universe so that change is brought to you. Now that change is gonna look different for all of us. Maybe, you know, you know that you have a new job coming on the way or, you know, you have money coming in, um, but there's some type of inner knowing that you will be coming into that's gonna create this feeling of peacefulness, um, mindfulness, and it's just gonna bring you at ease that you know that change is coming, um, is coming in the future or it's on the way. All right, so let's uh, get into the reading. Also, my intentions for this reading is is always to provide you with the messages for your highest good um, that are channeled through spirit. So let's get started. Spirit, what messages do you have for Aries, Sun, Moon, and Rising? Also, all of my contact information is listed below. So if you would like a personal reading, um, you can go ahead and schedule one. So we're starting off with peaceful resolution. So beautiful. You know, some of you could be dealing with some type of conflict or a situation that is a little bit um, uncomfortable. And in the channel of messages, it was about, you know, peace and inner knowing. So, you know, spirit is letting me know that you know that this situation is going to have some type of peaceful resolution to it. So I feel like your spirit is is at ease with this situation because you know somehow you know that it's going to work out. Spirit, what other messages does Aries need to know? Okay, so we have Sisterhood of the Rose, Beauty and Devotion, Priestess, Mystic Teacher. So I'm almost getting the energy of the High Priestess here. You know, this is you, you working behind the scenes or you know that the universe is working behind the scenes, your guides are working behind the scenes, um, supporting you, you know, for your highest good, for this peaceful resolution. You know, with this energy, you may be keeping certain things to yourself. You know, this is about that inner knowing. This is about you following your intuition. And this feeling is going to um, provide you <clears throat> with that inner peace, especially if the situation is a little bit uh, negative or heavy um, or, or, you know, there's just conflict around it or uncertainty. So we're starting off with the hair font. We have a full here. We have justice. The King of Cups. We have the Hermit. We 
Queen of Pentacles. Seven of Pentacles. And the Magician. All right. And the overall energy is the Two of Wands. So I feel like, you know, you guys are definitely going to be focused on, you know, your future. You may be in a position of where you're looking at this option and that option, you know, but I feel like you're going to have some type of inner knowing to this and it's not going to, you're going to make the decision with ease when it comes to these two options regarding your future. So this says, always look for the good, even in the most difficult situations. So like I said, I, I do feel like some of you, you know, are dealing with a situation that may not be easy, you know, but I feel like a lot of you, because of that inner peace of that inner knowing, um, you are able to, you know, look at the good or look at the silver lining opposed to, you know, allowing doubt. Uh, anxiety or stress to over you know over consume you and let me get some clarifying cards let's see what the messages have to say so these cards are a little bit dark but I don't know I was called to use these cards for some reason all right, so we're starting off with the Hierophant. You know, this speaks about some type of commitment, some type of large institution. You know, um, this could represent your faith as well. So you could be dealing with um, like a large company, like your job. Let me get a few clarifying cards. Spirit, can you please clarify the hair font? Okay, so with the hair font here, with this commitment or this company, you know, we have the will of fortune. So the will of fortune, you know, it speaks about divine timing. It speaks about, you know, the ebbs and the flows in life. But typically when the will of fortune comes in, you know, that speaks about your luck is turning. You know, the will is turning in your favor in regards to some type of commitment or, you know, some type of, some company, like a large institution. You know, and I really feel like this is going to bring in some type of abundance with the Nine of Pentacles here. You know, with the Nine of Pentacles, there is no lack. There, There is no wanting for anything. You know, she or he in this picture has everything that they need they're they're truly provided for so i feel like for some of you guys you're waiting for this new opportunity or this commitment to come in because next you have the full card so this speaks about some type of brand new beginning you know they're looking out at the future and the sun is rising you know look at that little bitty bag that that he or she has you know they're not taking much with them right they're taking the leap of faith they're knowing that you know they have everything they need plus more to move forward with this new opportunity they don't need any baggage they don't need anything that serves them they're just moving forward with themselves With the full card, we have justice. Justice is showing up twice here. So with this new beginning, you know, this could be a, a new way you look at things, a new attitude, a new job, a new position. Whatever this new, fresh outlook or opportunity is, you know, spirit is wanting to let you know it's going to be just, it's going to be fair, it's going to bring some type of balance into your life. You have the Four of Swords here. 
So when this new beginning comes in, or this new way of thinking, you know, you're really gonna go within. I feel like you're really gonna digest this information and you're, you're gonna really be reflective of this new opportunity. So with justice here, we have the Eight of Swords. So you know, you might still have some type of doubts, right? Or some type of concern that this situation will truly be fair, that it will truly bring balance into your life. Some of you could be dealing with court cases and things of that nature. And if you are dealing with the law or any type of court case or um, anything like that, know that it is going to work out just and fair and there is going to be a peaceful resolution so you also have the queen of cups here so this letting me know that you know you're really coming from the a place of compassion a place of tact you know you're really in control of your emotions which is very beautiful i feel that you're coming from this place of composure because you have this inner knowing you know, you have this inner knowing that this change is coming. So next you have the Knight of Cups. You know, the Knights bring in change. So, you know, some type of offer is going to be coming in. And with this Knight, he brings in some type of cup of fulfillment, some type of cup of love. It'll be different for, for everyone. Sometimes he's known as Prince Charming if this is, you know, resonates as a, a love reading for you. So with the Knight of Cups, you have the Judgment card. So this could be like a blast from the past. This could be a second chance or a redo on a situation or an opportunity with the person. You know, the Judgment also speaks about some type of change or growth or, you know, some type of rebirth too. You know, this offer coming in could provide you with some type of rebirth, especially with the full energy coming up. You have the Nine of Wands here. So, you know, this path that you're on may not have always been easy. You know, Spirit is aware of that. However, Spirit is saying that you're not giving up. You know, you are uh, dedicated. You're staying focused on the task at hand. And, you know, literally a nine to a ten, you know, you're almost at that completion so next you have the hermit card so this is you really going within following your light you know checking in with your higher self when it comes to your future when it comes to your destiny we have the two of wands here you know this is about planning looking out for your future you know this this guy right here he literally has the world in his hands look at this the world so you're going to be at a crossroads after you reach a completion, you know. This completion, you know, this could involve children. This could involve somebody from the past. This could involve your comforts. What brings you comfort? As far as this could be in, a, in regards to a relationship, you know, you and a significant other. It could also be in regards to some type of soul connection you have with someone else. You know, there may be, um, there may have been some uncertainty in the past, but I feel like, you know, the mask is going to move, you know, and you're going to have this clarity. You're going to have this inner knowing regarding this situation because you're, you're really going to be in a reflective state. You're really going to be going within on this situation. I feel like you guys are really going to be taking the path of least resistance and you're going to just be going with the flow and listening to your intuition, listening to your guidance. So spirit, what messages do you have for the hermit? So this is you seeking within and following your light. And, you know, I, I feel like, you know, inside that you are reaching you are reaching this completion, you know? This also speaks about a victory reef. So this is a successful completion at that. that. 
And after that completion with the Two of Wands here, you know, there's two opportunities, either this person or that person or this situation or that situation. You have the Two of Swords. I will look up the Angel Numbers 22 because that may bring you uh, more messages. But there's a, there's going to have to be a there's going to be a decision that you're going to have to make. You know, with the Queen of Pentacles here, with her energy, she's very grounded. She's very nurturing. You know, she's very you know, Earth energy is very slow and very melodic, very calculated. You know, I feel like your focus on your abundance, your focus on your home life, your focus on the things that bring you comfort and joy. You're focused on bringing more balance into your life as well. Spirit is saying that, you know, you do have options here with the Seven of Pentacles. Seven of Pentacles also speaks about having patience as well, because these pinnacles or these seeds that you've planted and you're tending to, you know, they might not quite be ready yet. These seeds that you're planting, they're 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 gonna ripen and they're going to provide you with emotional fulfillment. Happy home life, you know, happy family life. Some type of soul connection that you have with you and another person you know this is some type of union that has uh, harmony and balance so for some of you you know this is about the seeds that you have planted when it comes to your future happiness with this person or the soul connection With the magician showing up, spirit is letting us know that, you know, you have all the tools necessary. You have all the tools necessary to create, create the future that you want to create, create the, create the lifestyle that you desire. You have strength here. So while creating, I feel like there's this feeling of ease. There's this feeling of having faith in the universe. That the universe is going to guide you and divinely protect you. It's a very creative energy. It's a very fertile energy. You know, some of you, if you're in a relationship, you could be, you know, um, taking that level, that, that relationship to the next level. You know, you guys could actually be planning for children, planning for your future, planning to buy a house. But there's a very creative energy here, a very fertile energy, an energy uh, about growth. So very beautiful. So, you know, between now and the near future, just remember that looking at the good at even the most difficult situation is really going to benefit you. So I'm going to get a few tea leaf cards to kind of wrap everything up. So you guys are planning, you're planning something. You're looking out in the future, looking out at the horizon. And it's going to come down to one or two things. So we have lion, time to act. So, you know, maybe you're going to be in the planning stages for so long. And then you're going to get those spiritual nudges that you know that it is time to act and move forward with your plan. You have purse. Pay attention to your finances. You know, maybe some of you guys need to budget. Maybe some of you guys need to um, just have more of a balance when it comes to your finances. Just be aware of where, where your spending is taking place. So you have funnel, a period of frustration, lessons to be learned. You know, you do have the nine of wands here. So this situation may, like I said, may not be the easiest for some of you guys. But Spirit is saying that you are going to learn specific lessons. 
you're gonna learn specific lessons that's going to add to your soul's journey that's gonna add to your inner growth and then last you have bread period of prosperity and abundance you know and I really feel like that's what you're creating here you know with this magi magician energy so very beautiful reading guys um, please comment below let me know how these messages are resonating I truly appreciate all comments and I hope you guys are safe and until next time